What's going on Reef Builders? I am Jake Adams and we are now in the fifth installment in our one day miniature reef tank build series and we're so excited to finally put the last couple pieces of this tank together. We have a few clownfish to choose from but before we go there at this point if you've done any reading about the aquarium how to's you might be wondering what about the biological cycle. Now we have several tricks up our sleeves uh, along with some new information, some new understanding about reef aquarium ecology. So as far as I can tell, there is no reason to that you need to deliberately cycle an aquarium for corals. They don't produce ammonia the same way that fish do and they don't breathe the same way that fish do. So yes, you absolutely need to cycle a tank for your fish, but much less so for your corals. This is why we have a beautiful crystal clear tank full of some nice beginner corals. So I talked about some tricks that we can use to kind of accelerate the biological cycle. So first thing that we did is we used some of the carob sea aragolive. This is a very well established um, method for getting your biological started. It's not going to complete it. Um, another thing that I did is you might have remembered from the aquascaping series, I actually put in a small block here of uh, Brightwell export bryo bricks that came from another reef tank. So that is basically a piece of biomedia that is already populated with bacteria and other um, little micro critters to kind of get things started. And then to bring it all together, there's a brand new product out on the market called Microbacter Start XLM. It's so new, I have to remind myself what this is called. So we did put a tiny splash of this. This is a fully complete biological cycling solution um, that will help you cycle your aquarium in days. Now there's a lot of products on the market that are similar to this, but they need to be refrigerated and have a short shelf life, right? So it attenuates with time, whereas this has a very long shelf life. I think it can freeze. Case in point, this is one of probably the most effective biological cycling products on the market today. Day. So while editing this video, I came across some new information about the rock that we used in this aquarium by my buddy Rico over at Rico's Aquarium. So let's see what he had to say. The reason why I stayed with real reef rock, because uh, it doesn't have any kind of bacteria already on the rock. Now, Carib Sea Life Rock, for you guys that may or may not know, uh, coats their stuff with bacteria already. So it was a very pleasant surprise to discover that the carob seed life rock that we use is already inoculated with bacterial spores. And it's a great time to emphasize that when we speak of cycling a reef tank, it's a lot less to do with the nitrogen cycle and trying to handle ammonia and nitrite, which is directly harmful to fish. It's more about establishing a microbial population on the surfaces of the rock and the sand and everything about the aquarium that is going to outcompete and prevent some uh, undesirable algae from growing. So with that said, let's go ahead and add some fish to this tank. All right, so with a few of those things out of the way, it is time to do a minor repeat of what happened um, when we went to grab some corals. I actually have a large uh, quarantine section here at the Reef Builder Studio where we can go pick out some fish. So let's walk back there and see what we're gonna put in here first. This is the Reef Builder's Studio quarantine section, and we have a lot of fish to pick from, but just to start, you can add a lot of corals to a tank that you've just kicked off, that you've just started, but with the fish, you really need to take it slow. So we're only gonna add one nice pair of clownfish, and if you follow our example, you wanna do the same and feed very lightly. Um, so we have some beautiful uh, clownfish that I've actually had for probably almost a year up here from Sea and Reef Aquaculture. On the left, we have the orange storm clownfish. On the right, we have the black storm clownfish. But I think for this tank, I want to go with the mix of those two. And this is the mocha storm clownfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch those out and we'll take them over to the tank. Okay, so as a slight aside, it's not really the purpose of this video to talk about how to get quality fish, but we can't stress enough the importance of thoroughly quarantined fish. So make sure that your fish are parasite disease free, either through your fish store or the quarantine room yourself. Again, a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do that, including our own, which will be linked down below. These fish are super duper clean. And uh, 
The last thing I'll mention is like, I've never been a fan of fishnets. I've always used specimen cups. Instead of chasing the fish with a fishnet, you chase the fish into a specimen cup and it's just so much less stressful on the fish. Do, do. Oh my God, these guys are gonna look so good. A little bit dirty in here. Come on guys. Come on guys. Oh my God, these, these are gonna be so bright. All right, everyone, we have uh, completed the acclimation of our new clownfish off camera. But uh, one thing I really want to drive home about uh, your miniature reef aquarium is before you consider buying any fish, it's really important that you come up with some kind of a lid or a screen top solution. If you add fish to a tank that has no lid or screen top, you can really ensure that on a long enough timeline, their fish is going to jump out, especially new additions. This is a screen top that we built from a kit provided by Red Sea that's cut to size for the size aquarium. We've already test fitted it, so we have that solution in place to make sure the clownfish don't jump out. And now, for the moment of truth, we get to introduce our first higher animals into the one day reef aquarium tank build is a pair of mocha storm clownfish from sea and reef aquaculture i've been enjoying these fish for a little while and before we walk away you just never ever leave it without a screen top been a very interesting challenge but we couldn't be any happier with how our one day miniature reef tank build came together we're actually we're actually really impressed over here it looks so good and although we raced to the finish line just to kind of demonstrate what can be done in 24 hours uh, really I'm pretty sure all reefers would agree that the best thing you can do when you're setting up a reef tank is to take your time so with that in mind uh, feel free to go back and rewatch some of the videos that you know were part of the series there's a lot of important points there and we're going to put pertinent links to uh, related videos all throughout the, the the comments and the video description we really want to thank red sea for supporting us in this one day reef tank build project the red sea max nano is just perfectly suited to a project like this and uh, if you happen to pick one up i'm sure you will be uh, very happy with it as well so with that in mind we are going to enjoy our new 20 gallon miniature reef aquarium and we're gonna spend a lot of time observing it make sure everything is great so enjoy your reef and until next time we'll catch you on the next video